So overall, my goal is to essentially minimize this uh, fraction of the total power loss. So what I'll do to find out, uh, you know, how I can how I can uh, do that is that I'll take a derivative of this. I'll take a derivative of this with respect to uh, with respect to the width. So I'll get uh, I'll get uh, let's see what we get. So I'll get a minus w d by w square term from this uh, first term over here, and then I'll get uh, two by three these things don't change w by rsh uh, term over here so now this i'll equate it uh, to zero and uh, you know let me further take this uh, w square over on this side so i get uh, w cube term over here and i'll essentially you know if i do that i can take this uh, wd on the other side as well of the equation and I get uh, this relationship so my width which gives me the minimum power loss or my optimum width I can essentially see from here that it would come out to be the cube of the optimum width is equal to 3 by 2 of my this will go to the other side so this would be V by J and then I'll get uh, inverse dependent on the sheet resistance. And then I'll essentially take a cube root on both sides. So that will give me the optimal width on the left side. And that would, be, that would give me this relationship uh, in terms of my optimal width. So uh, now there's another WD term over here. So this is the optimal width uh, that uh, I should uh, of my cell if I want to minimize my uh, power loss. So I can see that you know, there's not much room to play in most of the terms. So you know the voltage is essentially determined by what uh, kind of cell I'm using. The current is also uh, determined by the technology. The dead region, the width of the dead region is uh, determined by, again, technological factors such as um, how, how closely you can uh, you know, align these scribes uh, on top of uh, each other. So the only, you know, the, the only hope or you know, the only lighting, uh, you know, my shining star essentially in this equation is my sheet resistance. So I have an inverse dependence on the sheet resistance and this term is saying that if I want to essentially increase this optimum width, what I should do is essentially reduce my sheet resistance. So again, let me show you uh, this uh, this uh, in another uh, chart over here. So this uh, again uh, is plots the two terms. So this uh, uh, two terms which uh, contribute uh, to the uh, power loss. So the first uh, is the dead area and that uh, the contribution due to that essentially reduces as I increase my uh, cell width. So as I'm increasing my cell width, the contribution to this uh, due to this dead term is essentially which is inversely dependent on the width, it uh, reduces uh, over here. Then I have the second term over here which is the I square R loss and uh, this is essentially as we discuss it's uh, proportional to the square of uh, the width of the cell. So this term, this I square R loss term it uh, increases as I essentially increase my uh, cell width so of course I get uh, optimum over here and uh, so I get an optimum width which minimizes this uh, minimizes this uh, uh, power loss it kind of also depends upon the um, intensity of light which is uh, incident so if I have uh, less intense light then I can use larger uh, cell with a larger width if I increase the intensity of my light then I'll have uh, more uh, current so uh, this term this i square r loss term will essentially increase so i'll get a slightly less value or a lesser value of this uh, optimal width uh, for my cell so then again you know looking back at this equation the shining star in this equation is to reduce the sheet resistance so you might think you know okay you know why not just uh, reduce the sheet resistance and the first thing uh, that you might think of is essentially increase the thickness uh, of my tco material so if i had this tco material which had a certain thickness you know why not you know double the thickness so my sheet resistance of this film uh, decreases and that is the uh, that is the uh, you know um, 
uh, that is something that you can think about but it's not very effective and the reason is that if you make this uh, TCO material uh, thicker so if you essentially try to increase the thickness of uh, this uh, TCO material it also increases the absorption uh, in this uh, TCO material so there will be a cell which is uh, which is uh, you know my absorber material such as let's say cattail or amorphous silicon which is uh, placed uh, below this uh, below this uh, uh, below this uh, TCO material. So if I'm increasing, if I'm increasing the thickness of this uh, TCO material, essentially the absorption within this uh, TCO material is going to increase and the amount of uh, light available or the irradiance available to this uh, absorber material which is below this TCO material will uh, decrease. So essentially there's, you know, you can try to increase uh, this, uh, this thickness of the TCO material, but if you start to increase the thickness uh, a lot, the overall uh, power essentially in, instead of, uh, instead of uh, improving it, uh, uh, the power loss starts to increase because, uh, you know, your, your cell itself is, uh, is uh, getting uh, less power because more of it uh, is uh, getting absorbed in the TCO. At the same time, if you decrease the width of this uh, TCO material, then you have uh, again more I square R loss because your sheet resistance uh, is uh, increasing. So there's, uh, there's, you know, there's uh, a limited, uh, limited uh, play you have available in terms of the thickness of uh, this uh, TCO material. So now if I can't, uh, can't do much with the thickness of my TCO material, so what, how do I decrease my sheet resistance? So I look at the formula for sheet resistance and it's given by essentially, you know, it's inversely proportional to the mobility, it's inversely proportional to the doping density, and it's inversely proportional to the thickness. So we have seen that, you know, uh, we have limited play with the thickness, but how about these other two terms? So one thing I can do is essentially, you know, increase my, uh, increase my uh, doping density and that is in fact uh, you know very readily uh, uh, employed uh, in these uh, TCO films as well so for example we talked about this zinc oxide and aluminum is added to it to essentially uh, act as a dopant and increase uh, its uh, doping density similarly in our uh, indium uh, oxide uh, films tin for example is added to essentially uh, increase this uh, doping uh, density as well so that is something uh, which is uh, which is uh, you know usually employed to reduce your sheet resistance but i might caution that you know if you if you become greedy and start to increase the doping density a lot then that doesn't board uh, very well uh, on your cell as well and the reason is that you know essentially if you think about this uh, tco material if you add a lot of these dopants, it creates a very large density of these uh, carriers inside these uh, inside the conduction band of uh, this uh, TCO material. And if you have a very large density of uh, these carriers, these carriers themselves can absorb uh, light, which is uh, called as a free carrier absorption. And that especially happens uh, in your uh, in your larger, longer wavelengths light, where they would uh, essentially your absorption coefficient. If you look uh, over here. It starts to uh, rise if I if I add uh, too much doping over here. So, for example, this is a uh, aluminum doped uh, zinc oxide, uh, and it's contrasted to undoped uh, zo do undoped uh, zinc oxide over here. So, for undoped zinc oxide, the absorption coefficient is essentially decreases as the um, as the wavelength of uh, my uh, light increases just like for you know for any normal oxide or any normal semiconductor material but if i add uh, a lot of uh, dopants in uh, into my zinc oxide i see that uh, this absorption coefficient it starts to rise especially for these uh, low wavelengths and the reason for that is this uh, free carrier absorption so again the point I want to emphasize is that uh, we should look at all these terms in this uh, sheet resistance equation. So there's limited play in terms of thickness. We typically add doping, but we can't add uh, too much of it. But so you know, see that each of these uh, parameters, it uh, comes with uh, some limitations. The only parameter which is unbound and you know, a lot of focus now has uh, in the research community is being, uh, is being uh, devoted to this parameter and that is to increase the mobility. So if I can increase the mobility of, uh, of carriers uh, in my zinc oxide or my TCO material, I can essentially live with a lower density. I can live with a lower thickness. You know, both of these will try to reduce the absorption uh, inside my TCO material. So 
mobility is uh, one term that uh, nowadays a lot of the research is uh, focused on improving the mobility in uh, these uh, TCO materials.